Hi, my name is Maggie Blumenthal, and I'm a Food Corps service member serving in RSU 12 with Mike Flynn, the School Nutrition Director. Hello everyone, this recipe is the fish po' boy with Cajun sauce. It's a, a two-stage breading. We're gonna use egg and a seasoned crumb with the filleted fish. Our first step is to prepare the crumb, set it aside so that our gloves don't get contaminated. I'm gonna use the open palm technique and the rocking technique to cut this parsley. It does take a few minutes. I feel that's small enough. Maggie's going to mix the herbs with the breadcrumbs and the parsley. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the eggs ready. Rather than cracking them on the edge of the bowl, I find that that fragments the shell more into the egg. I've been taught to crack them on a flat surface. So she's getting the two breading stations ready the wet and the dry. I'm gonna grab the two fillets. I'm gonna remove the nape. Now I'm gonna portion them three ounces is my target. And when I prepare my fillet, I have the skin side down. So that's gonna be the top whenever I bread and, and bake. So let's see how many we can get out of these two fillets. Anything between three and four ounces is my target. I feel like I hit a, a, a fish bone in there. I don't feel it, but I'm gonna double check. So there's our fillets. Assuming I'm breading by myself, I'm gonna have one wet hand and one dry hand. And that's the trick, keeping one hand dry so that you don't have a coating on the fingers and you'll minimize your yield on your breadcrumbs. So let's do this together. So there is the crusted fish for the fish po' boy. We're gonna bake that at 450 degrees until it reaches 145. Our next one, we are working on the Cajun aioli, which will be paired with our Pollock po' boy. I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of this Cajun spice mix. Mix that up, and then I'm gonna use about 10 drops of this hot sauce. Mix that up. It's also gonna create a really nice color. We're going to add a little bit of this mustard. So now we're going to complete the fish po' boy with the Cajun sauce. We breaded the whole fish versus the recommended two pieces per. So we're just going to cut those pieces in half. Um, we've got some, we're going to dice some local tomato and shred some lettuce and slice some onion to go with it. Uh, first, I'm gonna do the easiest part, which is chiffonade the lettuce, or shred the lettuce. I've washed the whole head. I'm keeping the tip of the blade on the board, and I'm just doing a rocking back motion and sliding the knife. And for the tomato, I'm gonna use a smaller knife, core the tomato. So I'm gonna go in half so I can get a flat surface as quick as possible. And I'm looking for a diced tomato. So I'll make uh, as thin as possible that I'm comfortable with slices. And I'm gonna get all my slices ready and finish the dice. So I'll peel the onion and leaving one tip on. I'm just pulling it back. It's a little bit dangerous, but I am gonna do a few rings. If I had a, a meat slicer, a deli slicer, I'd use that. So we're going to assemble the po' boy, we're going to split the roll, we're going to put a little bit of the sauce in there, and I'll give you some of the fish. Shredded lettuce, diced tomato, red onion, baked fish, and you can put a little more sauce on top, maybe a little drizzle. 
we could use some of these ingredients for garnish and fillers. Of course, you'd serve a vegetable or fruit. 